Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build the welcome series flow on Klaviyo. So this is the exact blueprint that we follow for our seven to nine figure e-commerce brands. So it's a tried and tested blueprint that has generated millions of dollars over the last few years. So with that being said, I'm going to share my screen and let's get things started. All right, so here we are on Klaviyo, and this is just an inactive account that I don't really use for any clients, but it's perfect for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to click flows on the left tab, and we're going to click create flow on the top right. And what we'll do is we'll search for welcome series at the top and click the welcome series standard. Now, this name, you can name it whatever you like. By default, it's welcome series standard. I'm going to leave that. And what you want to make sure you select is the newsletter list. So it should be basically whatever newsletter list you use by default. So what, what list you want customers to end up in after they sign up for your welcome series. Usually by default, Klaviyo's newsletter list is just called newsletter. If yours is any different, just make sure you select the right one. Uh, but for me, this is perfect. So I'm just going to click create flow. Okay, and this is gonna be the default structure that Klaviyo gives us. So what we've got by default is three emails, but what we like to send is actually a sequence of five emails. So we're gonna add those emails later, but the first thing that we wanna do is sort out these time delays. So pretty much what happens right now by default is gonna be someone signs up for your email newsletter and immediately they're gonna get sent email one, which is perfect. Now email two is being sent three days later and that's perfect, but what we wanna fix is this uh, t time of the day. So by default, what this is saying is at 12 o'clock, uh, three days after the customer signs up, we're gonna send an email to. But we don't wanna do it at 12 o'clock. We want to actually just send it at the same time that the customer would have signed up for the newsletter originally. So if someone signs up and at, it's, it might be six o'clock at night, email two, we wanna also send at the same time. So just three days later, but that's still at six o'clock. And the reason for that is customer behavior is usually quite predictable and it's usually quite consistent. Now, if someone checks their phone or they, you know, they're available on their phone at lunchtime, they might be free at lunchtime during the day, then we want to also still send them the same subsequent emails at the same time of the day because they're probably going to be free at lunchtime uh, two days later as well. So that's pretty much how, why we want to, so that's pretty much why we want to set this time at the exact same time that the customer first signed up. So I'll just pretty much uncheck this and by default, it'll just sort this out. Now I'm going to do the same thing for email, for email three, but here it says wait four days, but I'm still going to change this back to uh, wait three days and then again, remove that time. There we have it. So now I need to add two more emails. So I'm gonna add a time delay here. So I'm just gonna move myself over. And what I'll do is add a time delay here. Time delay should be three days. Save, add email. So this is gonna be email number four. And then I'm gonna add one more time delay it's going to be another three days. Click save and then add the last email, which is going to get sent three days after email four. Okay. So I mentioned that it's a five email sequence and this is the actual structure that we want to follow. So email number one is going to be a welcome to the brand and you give them the discount that you promised them. So it could be a 10% off coupon code or 15% off, whatever it may be. Um, so welcome and then give them the actual access to the code. Now, email two is going to be meet our best sellers. So an email that is basically designed to focus on your best selling products, your most popular products and collections. And you also want to give them a reminder. So just say, hey, if you haven't already used it, here is your 10% off code. So just so it's easy for them to access. Now, email number three is going to be more educational. So it's not very promotional. It's just going to be a note from the founder and basically explaining the story of the origins of your brand. So it could be um, just some much more simple text-based email. You obviously want to add some elements of design, but you're not really trying to push sales heavily at this email. It's just here to build a more of a personal connection with your brand, which is a really, really important part of email marketing. Now, email four is going to be purely just reviews. So highlight reviews of customers, positive reviews that people are saying about your products. Because the reason that we want to have this here is if someone's looked at you know, the first three emails of your brand, but they still haven't made a purchase, then it shows that there's something holding them back. And to customer reviews and testimonials is a really, really good way of pushing them over that line. Now, you also want to make sure you have that the offer is expiring soon. So if a customer hasn't made a purchase, let them know that they only have a small amount of time for them to utilize that discount code. Then email number five is going to be your discount expires in 24 hours. So this is a much more urgency and scarcity driven email that really drives a lot of sales. Okay, so now I'm going to get a little deeper into the actual structure of every single email. Um, so let's get started. So email one, obviously we want to do a welcome to the brand, give them the discount and expiry date. And you really want to focus on using unique copy and really identify you know, your brand voice 
and make the customer able to really read you guys as a different brand um, and what sets you guys apart. So you wanna highlight your key benefits of your product and your brand and really make yourself seem unique. So this is a good example of a brand um, called Casper. So they've got some of their um, key aspects as to what they'll um, get within the email newsletter. Um, and then you know, just, just a gentle welcome to the brand. So email number two, what we wanna do is best sellers. So as I mentioned, so we wait three days after email one, we wanna highlight your most popular collections. So let me show you what this should look like. So this is, for example, for a brand, um, for a beauty brand. So this is actually supposed to be one email, just split up, just so it's easy to read. This is the top of the email. So explore our curated collections. And then we highlight the, the key collections, the most popular collections for this brand. And then right at the bottom, as you can see, don't forget, take $5 off, welcome five at checkout. So we wanna always give them a reminder about the discount code. Okay, so let's get to the next email. So email number three. So just more of a purely educational email, as I mentioned. Um, it's just here to build an emotional connection with your audience. So this is what it should look like. So again, this is the top of the email. It just says our story. So if you're reading this, uh, you probably had trouble finding. So it pretty much goes through their founder story, why they started the brand. It's a nice image, uh, friendly image of the founders, and then just some uh, general uh, image of the products down below. And here, as you can see, this is really important. The call to action is just learn more. It's not shop now, it's nothing too salesy, it's not pushing any sales, it's purely just, you know, if you want to learn more about why we became what we are, um, here's more information. So just purely educational. Now, let's get to email number four, which is going to be your customer reviews. So always use the customer's uh, first name if you can, obviously ask them for permission beforehand, um, and add, this is where you want to add more of a shop now, or shopping related call to action, and then always include a discount um, expiring soon reminder. So uh, let me show you an example. So for example, here we go, uh, the customer has, uh, so there's a review from a customer, that's their name. Now they've got another review here, so um, they've got a product image and then another review below that, and then more product images. You can even add three to five different reviews um, within this email. And then again, remember that you wanna add some sort of um, reminder down below for using the discount code. Okay, so here we have the last chance email. This is email number five. This is gonna be very, very urgency driven email. So call to actions could be shop now, save now, redeem now. So even if your discount code doesn't expire, if you don't even have the functionality um, within your store to have a discount code expiry, that's fine. I recommend just having, putting the expiration date anyway. Um, so what you can say is, for example, your discount code expires in 24 hours, shop now, and then just more information. Basically, just link them to some popular collections that you have. Again, it's a very simple email. It's not too complex. We just want to get them to know that there's not long left because they've already done a lot of education until now. Now it's time to get to business. So there you go. So that's all the five emails. Now, as you can see, these emails are quite beautifully designed. Now, I recommend using Figma if you're a professional. So if you guys have used Figma before for, for other aspects of your brand, highly recommend using Figma for your emails. If you're more of a beginner, I just recommend using Canva. It's, there's a lot of great email templates on Canva um, that you can do to, to design much more closely to your brand. Uh, design these emails and then slice them and then bring them into, import them directly into Klaviyo. Now, if you're not too confident with even using Canva for email design, I will have some more videos on that later on. Um, but in the meantime, you can just do it directly within Klaviyo um, because that's probably gonna be the easiest way to have it. And you'd rather have something preliminary set up uh, than not have anything set up at all. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate your time. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I'm usually pretty quick to respond. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.